The Maroon and White Pod brought to you by CityLink. For bookings, timetables, updates and any other information, head to citylink.ie. Well, <laughs> how's my friend? <laughs> Hi everyone and welcome. I think it's to week eight of the Maroon and White and... Are we eight weeks? Yeah, eight weeks. Or eight, eight sessions. Well, I suppose eight sessions more so, or eight episodes and so far so good. Well, it's good that we let the technical team back. The technical team are back. They logged us in at about half four this evening. <laughs> just uh, to make sure. Just to time. make sure. But of course, they're gone. But they did bring us the coffees. Yeah. All right? Well, at least so you drink it. I don't. Yeah. Which, um, how's the week been? A busy, a busy week. Mm-hmm. Sure, everything um, everything goes so fast. And I suppose it's a it's a great week in that it's a women in sport week. Absolutely. And uh, something to, to celebrate. And yeah, to for embrace. sure. Um, it was disappointing though it. that the um the junior final didn't get played obviously yeah well with colleges again with the roundup um none of the colleges games went ahead last weekend if, uh, yeah. obviously with the wind and the rain and the bit of snow that they had in in the the middle of the country the junior a b c and d finals were oh, cancelled yeah although i um i was down at the junior c final in the dome Fantastic facilities down the dome. Big shout out there to John Prenty. Oh, Prenty, yeah. how are you? My friend, my friend. And I Kurt. hope you're listening. And Kurt and all the and guys. Danny. And Danny. <laughs> and Cahill and, 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 all, and the, all the gang. And, and all the gang that have been so good to myself and Aoife and to the, to the school's camogie. So I told John to subscribe. So hopefully he's all the lads down there. in. If in he hasn't dome. subscribed. Oh, yeah. He's, yeah, yeah. he's in trouble. But... Um, Back to the Junior A, um, you know, it's, it's a massive achievement, I suppose, for St. Pat's and Mahara and no Loretta College this year in the, yeah. in the Junior A. So Mahara are no playing. Harm for yeah, change. Well, I suppose it's nice of a new name. The yeah. There's going to be a new name of the Cup this year. Yeah. Either um, our Ballon Colleague in Cork and Loretta. Rayfields back in it again. I promised uh, last yeah. week that I wouldn't mention the word Rayfields. I can't wait to have, but yeah, but when we have our special guest tonight, Siobhan well, Keller, yeah, she actually was captain of Rayfields senior team. I know it's great that we've all these special guests, they're all famous people that from Rayfields. Rayfields. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, and so Rayfields are back in it again next Wednesday, the 13th, and time yeah. and venue to be confirmed. That could probably go up on go yeah. away um, it's, tomorrow. I suppose, look, it's great that it's going to go ahead, but it's a tiny bit disappointing. No, actually, do you know what? The gods were with Rayfields, really, because the lads were playing Absolutely, on the same day, which yeah. was actually, do you know what? It was, oh, it worked out. It, it was a blessing, season, really. Yeah, with the boys. Like, it's 20, I suppose, 1995 since the lads were in, well, not 2005, but 1995 since the lads won in All-Ireland Senior A. And that's the serious, I suppose, accolade of, of hurling in the school. Yeah. And there's a massive buzz. Top. Massive Top buzz cup. around, around yeah. Rayfields at the moment. So, what are you eating or what are you doing lately? I don't know, just, I suppose, we're keeping it very simple, Aoife. Yeah, it's yeah. a simple game. So, <laughs> moving fast, moving fast, <laughs> which is why we're on this topic tonight. But just a big shout out to Francis Forbone and Hardiman and all the boys there and the lads in um, in St. Rayfields on um, a wonderful work that year. And doing. Saturday and the 16th it. in Saturday Coke Park. Saturday the 16th, yeah. Coke Park, one o'clock. Be great spectacle. Against the Kingpins, I suppose, the College is hurling. Uh, St. Gorton Community School. Gorton oh, St. Kieran's. Kieran's. Okay, St. St. Kieran's. Of, St. Of, of <laughs> That'll be a cracker. Well, I hope to yeah. be. And look at Rayfields are going in as underdogs. Which, so that's the way, isn't is you better yeah. off? Yeah, exactly. And look at for those boys that might never play county, isn't it a great opportunity for them to walk out into oh, here and embrace it. it, lads, and enjoy it? And their families. Because it doesn't come around very often. No, yeah, for absolutely, sure. Absolutely, absolutely. But no. look, at back to all things camogie. And, and women and, in um, sport, yeah. When myself and Aoife were talking this week about guests and we said you know i suppose the most important thing with the game is the fundamentals and that's for sure we as coaches it, try and instill that with the nursery program the abcs and the rjts and you know RJTs, nothing yeah. has been more important now than the player pathway and i suppose incorporate an athletic development into that and i'm sure other clubs are doing it it's definitely one that's happening in ballandering and sure look we've fantastic set up there with south galway athletics and for sure Siobhan, our guest tonight is very much to the fore oh yeah uh, absolutely yeah, exactly founders. so what we'll probably be but asking I suppose her is we'll, how we'll be asking her about the yeah. sport and i know that like siobhan will tell us anyway but i know that from down through the years siobhan was always an avid athlete and, Absolutely, I and remember went, playing with Siobhan, yeah, yeah and it went in tandem scene. with with her camogie. So that's what we're going to ask her tonight. You know, people we throw around this word S and C all the time, and it's kind yes. of like nobody really knows what they're no, talking about. No. But S and C for the junior kids is 
ABCs, agility, balance, coordination, and yeah. just the fundamentals. Fundamentals. And a scary statistic or like fact is that one in five children of national school age cannot run properly. And yeah. that's scary. So mm -hmm. we're trying to teach them how to hurl, but yet they can't run. So yeah. is it any wonder they can't swing a hurl when they can't run? Yeah. And that's not their fault, or is it? I don't know. We have to look at but maybe Siobhan might have an answer. Well, she might have an it's answer. It's an easy question. It's she might have an easy answer. Question. And again, before we, we, we speak to Siobhan, when we talk about coaching the skill, you know, you look at the hands, the hurl, and the feet. feet yeah. So you think of the hands. Or the, the four feet. H's. Or the four H's. The, the hoof. The well. hoof yeah. yeah, the hoof, exactly. But again, so important. And, you know, I remember questioning a, a crowd at, um, at a course we were on. Remember we were talking about the ABCs? Yes. And they knew the A, they knew the B, they knew the C, but they didn't, they didn't know, know the S. S. Oh, no. And I was saying, what's the S? And these were experts and they, you know, they, they and I said, what about speed? And I said, everything has to be speed. done in speed and mm -hmm. match tempo. And when you have that coordination within the body, just you have the basics. Together, the but basics. do you ever know as well when you're playing um, like a football, a football club or a, a dual club? Yeah. Because they're so physically fit, fit. and it just means if you're fit, you can play anything. But yeah, I suppose we, we, I, I just want to tell you a little bit about Siobhan. Yeah, you know Siobhan yeah, well, know but Siobhan, our, yeah. our, our few listeners mightn't. So I'm just going to read out what I have on Siobhan, and mm -hmm. this is like she's an amazing track record. Um, Siobhan is a national school teacher in Ballyglass National School, where I went to myself, and great school and great set of teachers there. Nicolene Linsky is the principal there, and Siobhan is vice principal, and all the gang there, and they do great work with them. But uh, a big shout out to all the kids in Ballyglass National School and all in Ardahan. So she's a middle distance and race walk and level two coach, um, coaching coordinator, secretary, and PRO with South Galway Athletics, yep. which has gone from strength to strength. I oh, mean, amazing. Yep. Um, she's a European silver race walking official, and she's the Galway Min. Like, this is amazing. She's the Galway uh, senior mins like manager, manager. Yeah, yeah unbelievable Fantastic. and they won the national track and field in 2023 so we might hear a little bit about that she has not one, not two, not six, not seven, but eight all-Ireland yeah. medals yeah. and she captain. That fantastic, yeah. I suppose, brigadier of St. Rafe's Yeah, Kogan. like yeah. first um, Imelda Havens was talking about last year. So I can't wait to hear of what uh, Siobhan has to say in terms of literally the athletics along with and how it complements yeah. how it complements the sport. So, so without with, further ado, we'll um, welcome How Siobhan. are you, Siobhan? How are you? I'm good. Hi, Eva. Hi, Martina. How are you, Siobhan? I, I hope good. thanks very much for having me. I hope it isn't getting too swell there with all that information. <laughs> I'm wasn't telling you, really... I'm going. Where did they get this stuff? I was Googling all day, all day. <laughs> no, we're, we're very delighted uh, to have you, Siobhan, and I suppose fitting in the week that's in it with um, International uh, Women's Women in Week sport, and yeah. Women's in Sport. And, you know, very important to be able to play the game of Camogie, but very important to be able to move, move to, to play the game of Camogie. And I suppose that's where your expertise comes in on it. So when we, we discuss what we, who we talk about, we said, keep it local. And a better yeah. woman, you're either walking the track in Bellandurian or you're running or you're marshalling. And she's winning. Or, or you're winning, exactly. So i um, so delighted to have you. Um, look, at it's busy for everyone, so we won't keep you long. We'll get straight into it, Siobhan. So talk yeah. to us. I suppose, Siobhan, give us a quick insight. A brilliant week, a weekend for Irish sport, women in sport, men in sport, the athletics. I take it you were looking at it. I was. I went one step further, Eve. I was actually over in Glasgow at the World Today. Were you? Oh, I was indeed. Yeah, it was absolutely amazing. Um, the whole family went and I went with a few others from the club and we had a brilliant time. Of course, we went over to support the Irish, but also we'd be big fans of uh, a number of other female athletes that we went over to see. You might have seen the 400 metre final, Finn Cabal, oh, the Netherlands and Claver. Oh, Claver, unreal. Oh, unreal. And yeah. they're so different physically. You know, if you see the two of them, Finn Cabal is this tall, slight girl. Claver is all muscle yeah, and muscle. muscle. But last week, actually, I saw a video of uh, Finn Cabal in training. And lads, if you saw what she was lifting, it was it was scary, oh, really? you know, and she's the slightest thing. But no, it was absolutely fantastic. With our own Charlene Malsley, you might have heard, she actually had yes. made that final. And had she been in the final, she would have come fourth or fifth. And, um, you know, so athletics is very exciting for Irish female um athletes at the moment we have a fantastic as you saw the relay team came fifth you know which mm. Charlene Malsey was the fastest overall she yes. actually was faster than Fim Cabal in the relay final imagine, imagine that you know imagine that like you know and Phil Healy's around a while we adore Phil Healy um, and she's very physically strong we have Sophie Becker and then we have um, the Harrison girl who's both of her parents are actually sprint coaches with the Irish team you might okay. be aware of that now Charlene mm. Malsey herself is coached by Gary Ryan but it was amazing to be over there. It was amazing to see our Irish women. I saw um, Roisin Flanagan running the 3K. And, 
she had a PB, she came um, she came 14th out of the 15. And now I'd know Rosie Flanagan down through the years and it was yeah. amazing her run. While she didn't feature, you know, she actually did PB. She had a PB, right. she had, you know, Charlene Malls had a PB. And then of course our Sarah Lavin, who we all yeah, asked. Well, she was unreal. She's yeah. unreal. No, but so I, consistent as well, Siobhan, in her times. Her times were so consistent. Yeah. yeah. She she's absolutely amazing. I saw her um last year in Santry running in the national seniors, and she went out and she won six. She won the hundred meters, and then she went and won the hundred meter hurdles. You know, so the talent we have in Ireland at the moment mm. is just amazing. And like we had so many more weren't at the world indoors. We have of course Kira McGee, who we all love. She's amazing. Yes. Yeah. Please God, she'll stay injury free now for the Olympics. And then we have Rashid Adeliki. Now, oh, I've yes, seen her yes. up close running in at Lone Indoor Track about three years ago. And she is just amazing. Like she holds currently our national 100, 200 and 400 metre record. Then we have mm-hmm. Sarah Healy, who was also very unfortunate, who failed yes, to come yeah. up to the line. You might have seen that on Friday night. Yeah, yeah. we did. Do to it. Love it. She we might have been there, Siobhan, but we were glued. We were watching. We were glued <laughs> to it. She's something else. She is, you know, she's really going to be good. She is only 22, I think. 20, I think she's a year older than Mike Reba. So again, we'd have often seen her run and I often saw her run cross country races. Um, you know, so it's very exciting athletics in Ireland. The week yeah. that's in it. Our female relay team did amazing out there. Rosie Flanagan had PB. Sarah Lavin makes the final, comes fifth. So it's it's all very, very exciting and very in- inspiring or inspiration for all Absolutely. the girls, you know, exactly. in Ireland, yes. you know, and yes. in our club. We had one girl with me, um, Orla Mannion, and she's, yes. she's, 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 um, Hopefully, fingers crossed. Now she'll get an international this year, but she's she's very close. And uh, it's she actually great got the local as well. That they, they set like when a girl like that is local and doing so well, it's yes. inspiring the girls, as you said. And like I suppose our pod is for like promotion of the game, but like the promotion of athletics. How yeah. would you say, Siobhan, down through the years, it has maybe changed, and how has it benefited? Um, the game of Camogie would say like I know a lot of times um, people say oh, athletics you know it's, it was never a kind of a don't think but now it's it's really become big how would you say it benefits you know what I'm saying alongside working alongside Camogie training and um, athletics yeah. training yeah well if we look at athletics like what can you get from athletics okay first of all you know look at it, what can you get from it for girls what can you get for anyone so if we look at girls and self right and then we'll break yeah. it into how, how can it help Camogie so obviously, you were talking there earlier, it develops fundamental skills. And like, what are our fundamental skills that we need for Camogie? So obviously we need them to run. We need them to be able to jump up and catch a ball, right? We need hand-eye coordination. Mm-hmm. We need to be able to twist and turn. Uh, we need to be able to run for 60 minutes nonstop. Yeah. So yeah. We need endurance. We need to be able to get to that ball first. So we have to be yeah. fast. So we need speed. And then obviously we're hitting a schlitter and a ball. We want to hit it as far as we can. We need to be strong. Okay. So all of these skills you will learn in athletics, right? Um, But of course, you know, they are slightly different for camogie, right? Okay. And, you know, everyone where you've been trained for a particular sport, you've been trained in different ways. Like if I was to train a cross country runner, um, you know, I'll get them through five sessions in a week. But I think one key thing, very often we try to do too much in a camogie training session. Yeah, you're right. We need just to focus on one thing per session. One aspect. Yeah. yeah. So let's say just I'll just give you my example with a cross country runner. So I give them five sessions in a week. One will be a long run. The second one will be a tempo run. What I mean by a tempo run is that we'll be gradually getting faster as we go along, yeah, yeah. right? Then we'll do a speed session. So this is a session where we're literally we're doing just fast work, and it's not non-stop sprinting for an, an hour it's not <laughs> it's it, right um until you puke no that's not it <laughs> i remember <laughs> those days <laughs> so it's no point if you haven't puked to the side you of the field you're not sure oh, i know i know well, we joke at an athlete there a few years ago and he was a great lad for puking god bless him michael was <laughs> <laughs> and uh we even when he'd go to competitions there was one round we're up and alone at a competition and on the bend Michael puked and the whole event had to be stopped, you know. And we oh, ended up no. it's it's now called well, like Michael Bind, you know. <laughs> but uh, I hope he doesn't hear this. <laughs> but <laughs> you know, you know, it's not about that. It is that you know, you, you have to have a set program of how you'll get them faster, you know. Yeah. 
you know, camogie is short distances, you know, so you're talking short sprints, you're talking 30 meter sprints, you mm -hmm. know, we'd call them flying 30s in um, athletics, where yes. you stride 20 meter sprint, 30 meter stride, and you'd yeah. repeat that 16 times, you know, with an interval break in between, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. so the, 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 that's your thing for your for speed. But um strengthen as well you know I, it, strength and conditioning is the, the big thing now right we keep talking about it and, and no one knows really what it is and nobody Do knows what it is you know yeah exactly um, the experts, you know back in when I played which is well not the same time as Martina but you're a little bit younger even <laughs> right thanks we got our strength and conditioning from farming you know it, it's absolutely I, you know, yeah. we we were out in the evening farming with with. I came from a house of five girls, so there was no lads. So we were out farming. So you know, when the, when the cows were milked and the sheep were caught or whatever we had to do, we yeah. hurl. You know, we got the hurl and the ball and we hit it against the side of the hay shed, and yeah. we did that every day. So another thing as well, you know, it is you have to do a bit every day. You can't just turn up yeah. twice a week at training and think I'm going to make county. Yeah. You know, and um, we, we trained every single day at home as well yeah. as um, with the club or the with county the, where the county training, yeah. you know. And not only that then as well, well, throughout when I was playing camogie, I was always running as well. So was my mm -hmm. sister Fanula, Martina No Fanula. Yeah, and, absolutely. And another girl on the team I always played with was Melda Maher. So the three yeah, of yeah. us were always doing athletics. And funnily enough, and it was something I noticed as I became an athletics coach, Lads, I'd be training, or girls, I'd be training. I'd be saying, well, "Where do they play on the field?" And they'd say, "Centre field." Very often, your runner was picked for centre field because they would yeah. go up and down the fast. field. You know, yeah. so that in itself is a lesson to everyone. You know, if you want to be picked, you get out there and run. You know, yeah. you're going to be fitter. You're going to be able to last the sixty minutes. And um, right. I had a great lad actually, um, Joe's his name, and he was a great Gaelic uh, footballer, and he was in a club that that didn't really have much football or it was mainly a hurling club. And I was like, how are you making county, Joe? You know? And he goes, Siobhan, because of all the running we're doing, he says, the lads can't run like me, you know? Mm -hmm. Now, he was a big tall lad as well and could jump up because he was doing athletics. Um, and yeah. that really came through in it. And they used to say to him, how are you so fit compared to the rest of the lads? And he goes, well, I do athletics. athletics you know? yeah. yeah. So, but if we go back again, like, the fundamentals, as I said, they're for the girls in Camogie. When you go to a training session, you know, and coaches can be very enthusiastic and we have to realise they're all volunteers. Yeah, true. So, you know, we can't expect everyone to be an expert overnight. But it is in a training session, I would strongly recommend you pick one thing. So if you're five yeah. sessions in the week, I'll go back to my cross-country runner. You'll have to stop yeah. me. I keep wandering on here. Yeah, um, right. But you're a cross-country runner, so we'll do a long run. We'll do a, a tempo run. We'll do two speed sessions, okay? And we'll probably do a fart leg, which is you go slow, you go fast, you go slow, you go fast. Yeah. So, and and you, of course, they have to have a certain mileage as well. You'll build up. But another key session we'll do is hills. Now, Ooh. I'll go back to my day, right? I'll go back to my day when we were in Good old days. Yeah. Good old days, Good old Martina, days. right? And Aoife in Rayfields. And we were very fortunate of the coaches we had. We had Sister Catherine, which she then became uh, Catherine Clancy. She she yeah. lift the nuns. She was wonderful, and we had Cyril Farrell. Yeah. So Cyril Farrell and Catherine would have us in at eight o'clock in the morning, and the hill at the back of the school, as Martina knows well, and still Eve, there, it's still right there, there. still Is there, and it's we we dreaded it, we dreaded it, but we did hill work. We did it. Yeah. And we were in at eight o'clock in the morning and then the nuns would have soup ready for us afterwards and then we'd tear off into school. But that was the bi a big, big factor. Not only did it, it like it gave us speed, like you will get fast if you do hill work. OK, yeah. now I know it's hard to get hills around the place uh, on pitches. Right. You yeah. know, but hill work I mean. is very, very important. Now, again, they don't have to be 200 meters long. You know, a 50, 60 meter hill is quite sufficient, you know, um, and. Yes. And build that. That should be once a week a session, if possible. And by golly, will you be tough if you do hill work? Oh yeah, and it strengthens the legs as well. The leg power. Yeah, absolutely. Power. You know, you're mm. a much better runner because to go up a hill, you have to lift the legs. And sprinters, for example, would do hill work. We do it in particular for our cross country runners. But funnily enough, when you do hill work, if you're training a cross country runner in one session, you'll train them to run up the hill. 
it'll be a week later before you'll train them to run down the hill. Oh, okay. Okay. So you won't do it all in one session. No. Right? No. And then you'll have a third session where you'll teach them how to plateau, where you come off the hill and to be yes. able to keep going. Okay. Then, yeah. um, so, you know, the, there's, there's a lot to it. It's not just go out and run. You actually have to, in particular for cross country running, it, it, it's a particularly tough one, you know. And Siobhan, would you, would you be saying like that, have you noticed a difference? Obviously, you're in a national school setting now, and I know of the yeah. massive work that you do with, with Belly Glass National School. But would you notice a difference between, say, now and 10 years ago, even? The difference in, because I came up with that, I didn't come up with it, like it's it's statistic that like one in five now can't run. So what can we do? Like, yeah. Um, yeah, no, we've we've quite a good few teachers there all involved in sports development in, in Bally Glass, which is fantastic. Brilliant, yeah. We all at lunchtime do different sports, which is brilliant. But yeah, I'll tell you now, um, so I was uh, 15 years now in the primary school and yes, I would see a difference. Um, you know, you can you can blame COVID if you want. You know, it's four years ago now. But yeah. um, definitely, you know, there was a reluctance. There is, you know, to go out and do things, you know. Yeah. Um, we're, we're improving as, as we come along. But I would have to say I do think skill level has gone down in, in, in hurling and camogie. Um, you know, when we were doing it, there was very little other uh, distractions yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Sports, right? yeah. I literally had camogie and athletics and you know and a black and white television okay yes. <laughs> oh I know the feeling yeah, yeah. Which is, right. uh, you're making yourself uh, well uh, I don't know but I was watching Home and Away in colour <laughs> two years of age you went <laughs> <laughs> but um, you know, so there, there, there's so many other things they can do now. But you look at even the yeah. whole range of different clubs and societies that they are involved in outside yeah. of school is brilliant, you know. Yeah. Um, so we had only camogie, you know, as such. Yeah. Whereas they have other things they can do. You know, what we can do in primary schools is we are, and it is the PE curriculum is actually very, very good, and there's been a big push and drive towards the fundamental skills. Yes. So we incorporate Great. that in PE in school, we incorporate in our training. And actually, I have to commend what you're after doing in our Drahan GA. They're after hiring um, Mick, a lovely lad from uh, Wexford. Yes, called GDO. Yeah. The GDOs, I should say. They're yes, brilliant. He's excellent. Yeah. And he starts mm -hmm. off every session with the fundamental movements, which yeah. is super, and then he'll bring in a skill and, and so on and he keeps it very much fun you have to keep it fun oh yeah, yeah. so important okay yes yeah. and they love a bit of crack and a bit of competition in every training session as well yeah. you know yeah. and like that though but keep it to don't try and teach them how to roll pick before they can hit it on the ground yeah. now yes. i know the game they, they can't run before they need to walk first yeah yeah that's exactly it mm -hmm. now i know the game has changed an awful lot since i played camogie Right, it's like yeah, it's still the basic basic still basic, Siobhan. It's still a very yeah. simple game. Yeah. I think society in general has kind of changed it because you were talking about systems now, and you're talking about plans and everything. But at the end of the day, if you don't have the skills and if you don't have the fast feet and speed and speed, yeah. you have nothing. And speed. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, mm. so but I suppose Siobhan, one of the things that definitely has changed in, in the game of hurling or camogie is the size of the hurl, like the skills have stayed the same like I mean there's 150 odd skills in hurling and it's like the fundamentals are still the same but I suppose the size of the hurl that's probably one thing that has changed, has changed yeah big time you know, or how we measure it we used to play with 34 inch hurls like you yeah know? 34, 36 yeah. inch well, you did, and you, you know, you, 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 you really find a man that could use a 34 inch hurl now, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, they're gone so and short. That's the argument that's out there that you know, what's the size of the hurl? Well, it's preference at the end of the day, but best yeah. practice when they're kids is you have them the proper length, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's not, to the, it's not to the hip anymore. A lot of people were thinking, and a lot of people are confused because when you look at the GA website and stuff, it's like you'd nearly want a master's to work it because there's so much. It's literally a, a galaxy of yeah. information and there's loads of really good resources on there, but I suppose it's hard to maneuver. And when something isn't simple, we tend to move away from it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. But yeah, yeah, the size of the hurl has changed and it, you just put it down to the side of your um, leg now and shake hands with it. And hopefully that the, the kind yes. of the hook part of the yes, hurl so is up to your hand. It's way shorter, you know, so it doesn't it doesn't suit for ground hurling, but ground hurling is, is practically gone, you know. It is unfortunate, and until but, coaches bring it back in, it will it, it'll be it's a, a dying off. skill, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, not know, here, yeah. Like, mm. even if you said to a child now, can you do a drop puck? They don't know what you're talking about, you, you know. know what you're talking about, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you know, my I, so true. I, I think you're talking about rugby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. 
Well, with all the work you're doing, and again, I, I, you know, I know that you work in there in Ballandurin, and you know Declan, Declan Durani works very yes. well with you there, yeah. and and Siobhan will be aware of this, but in Ballandurin, they introduced uh, an athletic development Elements. session, and Declan yes. was to the yeah. fore there with the with the younger crew, and as a result of his coaching, we had a coaches' night. And Declan gave them a little bit of a brief and an introduction, 15 minutes on the fundamentals, but how yeah. to incorporate it into warm up. And, into the game. and as a result, now all of the coaches know in, in the underage yes. know it and they're incorporating that now. So Brilliant. for the boys and the girls, it's now part of their yeah. session and yeah. they understand the importance yeah. of the proper warm up, um, hand eye yeah. coordination. Uh, throwing, jumping, running, Catching, and they kicking, know how to do yeah. it properly. Because and another thing you mentioned, yeah, fair play. Declan is excellent. He's with us a long mm. time, so he is. And yes. we've a great group. We've thirty juvenile coaches. Um, Have you thirty? Yeah. They're wonderful over there. They're so yeah. busy. I know. Oh, you'll be over there with Kifa. I know. We were over yeah, there tonight. Or, or and, I mean. and thanks, Siobhan, for coming on because I know you're not long home from athletics. So, oh yeah, that's um, our, our regular on on a Wednesday. But yeah. Um, oh, yeah. you know, you talk about there though about one in five can't run. You know, mm. so yeah. that's that's a that's a big thing that could be brought into the training session in Camogie is all the running drills. There's a whole yes. set of running drills and I do it in PE always in school or when I do athletics in school with the children. And I have seen a huge improvement. So let's say I started with the kids in, in first class up and teaching these drill drills. And it's amazing. Now, it doesn't happen overnight. But yeah, in no. over two or three years, I can have seen children transform in the way they carry themselves and how they run. And there's so many simple tips you can give them as well in the Camogie session. As I said, you can do the whole dr set of drills that you would do, you know, um, from your high knees, your kick behinds, your A skips, B skips, your um, what you call straight leg kicks, your striding, you know, yeah. um, all of those drills. Um, and you will see it in time. Also as well, how do you hold your hands when you're running? That's a huge thing. I remember years ago, I was in a different school and I had... Um, God, I had a young guy, he was a great hurler. And he's now, I think, on a Galway senior panel. And um, oh, name a team. Name him. Name him. <laughs> no name, Mark Kennedy. Mark Kennedy. Mark Kennedy. Mark Kennedy. Mark Kennedy. Do you know yes, Mark Kennedy? Good man, Mark. Yeah. Mark Kennedy was super fast. He was so fast as a young lad. Uh, but the way he ran, it was like as if he was always going to catch a slither, right? OK, but I was going, God, if I could get my hands on him now and train him for six months, I'd make a mighty sprinter out of him. But brought him into the county sports and he won it by a mile. You know? Stop. He had serious yeah. speed. Serious. Some are natural though, aren't they? Some are naturally born. Yeah. Yes. Like that was in, in six, he was sixth class at the time. Um, he had so much speed, but his running style was appalling. And if he was, how good he could have got, you know, no, I'm sure he's, he's a very, very good runner. Now I haven't seen the young yeah. lad in years, but uh, he's no longer a young lad, he's a young man. But, um, you know, he, he had such speed and had yeah. such potential, you know, but he, um, He's obviously a very good hurler now, but uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll quote Jerry Kiernan. Do you know the great Jerry Kiernan, Lord? Yes, Mike? absolutely. Yes, he, 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 coached, yeah. he coached my sister Fanula for eight years in Dublin. And uh, yeah. he'd say to, he actually, he actually played minor football with Kerry. Now there's a bit of information nobody knows. Oh. He now, did you Google that did you? I didn't. <laughs> right. But Jerry Kieran yeah, he has always been... Googling, you see. I just have it. Naturally. Don't mind her, don't mind her. I've nothing here. I've no utensils. <laughs> but Jerry Kieran, team Jerry Kieran would say Manny's good athlete was was ruined by her by the GA because they went to the GA. But that's the preference the in Ireland. You yeah, know, yeah. That is the number one preference. Absolutely. I see it here in my own house, my young lad, you know, he wants to hurl, you know, yeah. he's great yeah. ability in, in athletics, but he, you know, that's the, all the lads are doing it. That's what they want he's to do. He's a race oh, walker, Siobhan, isn't he? Sean, he's the Sean, race the, walker. Sean, the eldest lad, yeah, he's doing the leaving at the moment now, so the, the next lad is doing race walking. And then my eldest Grieve would have uh, runs a good bit as well. But, you know, um, you know, even if we go back to the girls in sport, you know, um, you know, because Grieve is my eldest, right, and she, she played camogie, um, uh, for a while and broke my heart she said I don't want to do it anymore yeah. and I devastated her us but anyway we let her off and she focused on running um, you know and what that did for her you know this is what I want another message I want to get across for young girls is you know it gave her it boosts so much her self esteem yeah, it gave her great resilience in, in, in life right because um, she became a different person when she was at an athletics competition. So she would have been very quiet when she was younger. I had a teacher brought me in once and said, can she talk? She she wouldn't speak, you know, yes. she was so quiet, right? Yeah. But what athletics did for her, um, it was her own little world. 
Um, I remember a relation of mine went to an event once to see her run and she was like, she's a different person. This, this, my God, she's so out of herself, you know. So yeah. athletics or sport of any kind, because there's an ad yeah. on the television now, I'm sure you've seen Especially. it. Oh, it's brilliant. About yeah, one yeah. of five girls. It's brilliant. It's very effective. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, where they drop the off the, yeah, is stop that the, the Elliot's drop. one? Stop yeah, the drop. Stop the drop. Yeah, the big, the you know, it's, it's, it's a very good ad. Yeah. But, you know, if girls could just realise, if we can get the message across that, you know, you're going to develop the fundamental skills for whatever mm -hmm. sport you're doing, right? Mm -hmm. It's good for your long-term health. Um, it's equality we'll get equality in sport you know yeah. we've been long enough fighting for it you keep but, at uh, it yeah, yeah. and right? socially as well socially you make friends for life Absolutely. best friends I ever made was through Camogie um, so. Martina no I played with Martina in, yeah, in UCG in junior, we overlapped yeah. for a year in Galway in UIG, that's right yeah you were probably on your eighth year in college at that stage the Canes <laughs> Raw was renowned for doing another course or a PhD <laughs> Or a P P H A F G, <laughs> but you were always there. Or an we A B C D E F G. Fanula was big into the science. Am I right, Siobhan? That's right. Fanula did a PhD in biochemistry. Um, right. you remember someone I, in college days? I have a great memory. Ah, she does. Well, well, great. Great. Siobhan, well, have you any story on her? Have you well, any story? Because I've plenty. We went on a great trip to Belfast. Do you remember That's that right. one? Well, I'll never forget it because <laughs> the bus nearly went without me because I went missing. <laughs> but um. Oh, I was found somewhere anyhow. I was all right. I was I was on I was on a bus a few years ago going to right. some event with with school and the driver goes right, Javon. They were good days, weren't they? We were very said, I, think, I think I recognize she, she, Oh she's back. Gone? You're back. Are we back? Um no, you're okay. No, you're okay. No, yeah, I, uh, the bus driver was going, I think I brought you to Belfast once. And I was like, no, different person. Different person. <laughs> <laughs> my sister, my sister. <laughs> yeah, my yeah. sister. But I suppose go on but, side, um, one. Yeah, go ahead, Martina. No, no, yeah. just said from this conversation, it's it's so complimenting what you're saying because at the end of the day, <coughs> it's the same underlying fundamentals Principles, that yeah. if you don't, yeah. if you can't be agile, if you don't have your balance and your coordination and your combination of speed, you know, I just came from a county under 16 training tonight, Siobhan, and like yeah. that, we were doing our basic warm up and we were incorporating all of those, and it was like I kept saying to them, complimenting them, you just need those dancers' feet, those fast feet, light on your feet, so yeah. that the 20 meter sprint, as you said, or the 30 meter, the length of the unit, that you're out in front. And you're out in front. You to get yeah. the hands, coordination, everything. And yeah. it's so true that the athletics does complement that in every way. Yeah. So if there is an athletics club to all those players around, join it, because if anything, it, it complements it. Well, it? we'll say the South Galway Athletics Club well, is, South is Galway the numero uno, isn't it, Siobhan? Oh, yeah, there's we'll a long list, so to any of you out there, it's you better join. Yeah, no, any yeah. club is all any, any, any club, any club, yeah. any, any, like, yeah. any athletics club. Um, no, it is. It's very, very important for girls. You know, yeah. it really is. You know, they talk of the drop off from sport. There is a huge drop off with boys as well. Huge drop off. Is, yeah. Um, but no, there's, there's 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 an event there as well for everyone, and yeah. it's in all shapes and sizes. Mm. You know, even interestingly, at the World Athletics at the weekend, right? You know, the sprinters come out and they're all muscle. OK, then your middle distance runners come out and they're the, the tiny, skinny little articles. Right. OK. Yeah. And then, you know, your pole vaulters come out and they've got shoulders on you now. You wouldn't want to get a shoulder from them in a hurl match. Right. Yeah. And, you know, then you have your shot putters. But do you know who's the fastest athlete of all? It's your shot putter. The speed at which a shot putter has to spin. They actually are the fastest moving athlete. You wouldn't have thought that, you know. So, you know, people get misconceptions. Um, are we there? Are you gone from us, Siobhan? Are we gone? Can it's you hear me now? Of... No, we're back. Oh, no, we're, we're back, back again. We're back again. again. We're back again. I was just saying the shot, putters, <laughs> the shot putters, I was saying, did you get that bit? That they yeah. are they are actually the, the fastest. fastest, the, the, yeah, the fastest that. But the point about yeah. all shapes and sizes, like it was amazing to see from your middle distance runner to your pole virtual to your shot, you know, your sprinter, they're all different shapes and sizes. You know, so don't even I don't want girls to think, you know, you have to be a certain figure. Well, yeah. that's you know? that's brilliant. And you said earlier on as well, um, Siobhan, about the resilience, because like no more than I suppose when you're hurling, it does build resilience because not everyone can be a winner. And you yeah. go to athletics and there's there's always only first, second and third. But you know what? I see even there, my own little lad, Irla, like he loves athletics. And he doesn't really ever win anything, but he just stays going. Yeah. Do you know, because he loves it, meeting the lads, and it's just a bit of crack and a bit of fun. And it's yeah. good for their hurling and it's good for yeah. their camogie. 
And as well, I actually had a parent texted me recently after the county indoors, right? And she says, look, my kids didn't come anywhere. Should they stay at it? And I was like, of course they should stay at it. You know, with athletics, you know, you progress in very small steps, but you will progress. And I gave her actually the example of my own daughter. When she first started going to county finals, she was coming seventh, eighth, right? But she kept at it, kept at it. And then she eventually, the next thing she was fourth. The next thing, I'll never forget the first day we were up at the Connacht and Sligo. The next thing she burst through and she won a bronze medal and everybody was going, where did oh, that come out of? Yeah, you know? And then the next thing, she was winning Galway's and she was winning yeah. Connacht's, you know. But it took five, six, seven, eight years. Yeah, it's all development, and, right, yeah. And athletic it, development so throughout, yeah. Athletic development. And the same if you're playing camogie, you know. Absolutely. It's it really, and as well to not to get disappointed, I know... Um, when we were playing, right, I would have played, let's say, under 14, under 16 county. I got as far as junior. I didn't get any further. You know, so many that were playing, making teams under 14, under 16, didn't make it senior. Girls yeah. that didn't make under 14, under 16, did make senior. Yeah. So yeah. We, all, we all develop at different stages. Different stages. Absolutely. Yeah. I was even before I came on the call, I was trying to think of the girls who played um, County Minor with me. We won in All-Ireland in 1988. And I was trying to think, how many of them actually um, went on and became senior? And I could only think of one. And it was Imelda Maher. The, you know, the rest of us actually, we all played minor for a good few years and probably played a bit of county junior. But, mm. and, you know, we went on and played um, club senior and Martina Harkin annihilated us. Shamrock says, oh, county final. Oh, Siobhan, Siobhan, Siobhan. I knew Martina wouldn't bring it up, but it's still a story. I would never bring it up. <laughs> I'm very modest when it comes to the game. Don't the worry, we'll bring it in some night. Oh, we'll bring it in some night. <laughs> but I do well, get exactly what you're saying. It's so true that you played and then all of a sudden the drop off. Do you yeah. know what I mean? There was and a drop off now, back then. Now we've yeah. got all these academies and all these development teams, yeah. and some of those girls in these academies and development teams don't go on uh, yeah. to represent their county, and that's just the game, unfortunately. Before we let you go, if you were to give a young girl advice who is playing sport, obviously, let it be camogie or let it be football, um, when it comes to development or athletic development, what would you ask them to work on, Siobhan? on anything to maybe improve their speed or improve the game or to get them to match tempo in today's modern game? What would you ask them to, to work on? Um, I suppose there's a number of things. There's a number of things, but you know, they have to want to do it. They have to, they have to, they have to have it in them that they want to improve. We we can, we can fool ourselves and keep tipping along, but you have to put in hard work. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. If, you, if you want to achieve to a high level, that the, you, have the, to, you, you have to work you hard. Know, you have to work hard. You have to want to do it. Um, we we in when we were in college, actually in Camogie, I keep going back to the college, but we there was a professor Lee, and I remember going out to play the Ashburn All Ireland final, mm-hmm. and I remember she saying to us girls, "You have to want to win, you know. So you have to have that want and desire in you, yeah. you know." I can give you another example. Over. Yeah. Leave hunger, you know, um, and to want to do well. It's no matter what you're doing in life. If, you, if you're yeah. going to succeed, you have to actually have that desire in you and you want to do well. And don't yeah. think it's just going to land at your feet. Exactly. So there's hard it. work. There is hard work involved. But if you put it in, you will succeed. Absolutely. Yes, you you yeah. will succeed. I've yeah. loads of examples of, of people I've played with down through the year and they work so hard and they work succeed. Hard. Yeah. Yep. Don't yeah. expect miracles. You know, it doesn't yeah. happen overnight. Absolutely. And, you know, always be willing to take advice from people. You and know? to not take it personally all not, of the time. Yeah, all from the betterment. Yeah. yeah. Don't take it personally. People are actually genuinely trying to improve you, you know? Absolutely. Yeah. They are. And um, yeah. um, no, of course, it is very important as a coach how you deliver that message. Oh, yeah. Of course. Right. It's, it's that, really, that is, that is it's how important. you say it rather than what you say. Yeah. So, yeah. You have to have the desire and the passion to want to improve. You have to work hard. You have to be willing to take advice. And then if we look, what do you need to do? You do need to practice every day. Yeah, exactly. Even for I'm not talking, you know, if it's camogie, you do need to have that hurl and the schlitter in the hand. Now, yeah. as I said, I know I'm a big fan of athletics and what have you. But yet, when we were doing all our um, fitness training for camogie, the hurl and the schlitter was always it's in our always head. In your hand. Yeah, so true. You, know, you didn't drop the hurl. You didn't. The hurl was actually, when we were being trained, and I was very fortunate, again, down through the years, to have great girls that I played with, 
Others oh, way better than I ever was. I, I was given certain jobs to do that was required, but I was no by no means the star in any team at any stage. I was very fortunate, the group of girls I happened to end up with, and I was very fortunate the coaches I had. Yeah. You know, like it started off with with um Cyril Farrell and Sister Catherine, and then we, I had Tony Regan when I was in college. But at a county level, we had a lovely girl called Isabel McGee. She was from Salt Hill, who was our coach when we were a minor. You probably don't even know who, who she no, is. No, I wouldn't I'm know. No. Yeah, you know, and and Rory was another lad. Um, and they were brilliant um, coaches, you know, and they were positive to yeah. us, you know, and encouraging. Yeah. So train every day. You have to do a bit every day. Do something. If, if you want to be a good commoner, puck it against the wall or drag out your brother or sister or drag okay. out your mother and your father. Our father used to go out in the field when he finished the farm in the evening and Martina would drive out. My, yeah, my I father. remember your father, the Lord of Mercy, and I'm, yeah, and he used to be always there and he'd follow us. I remember actually being at some occasion and we had great crack with your dad, long gurching for some event, but that's about yeah. 30 years ago anyhow. Yeah. But um, yeah, but yeah. as you said... You used to, if you were ever late, it was because your father was always doing the bit of farming and you hadn't the lift until he could bring you to training. Yeah. <laughs> and he was probably yeah. bringing half the team. You oh, know? don't you know well, but, yeah. um, but great, words of, great words of advice there, Siobhan. Absolutely. Yeah, for sure. And yeah. Siobhan, for as someone that's so highly qualified in you know the athletics field, just we really appreciate you coming on and all the work that you're doing in the locality, in the school, in Ballyglass, in Ardrahan and in the South Galway Athletics Club. And it really is, it will bear fruit. It might take, as you said, it might take a while, but um, Galway, Camogie, Galway Hurling is in a better place because of, of your training. Yeah, absolutely. It, thanks very much. As I said, now there's a whole crew there. It's not oh, I know. That. I know. You're, on our, our, you're only down the road yeah. from us. We're neighbours, um, we're, we're yeah. club colleagues as such, and it's fantastic, Siobhan, all the work. And don't ever think that it doesn't go unnoticed because it does. <laughs> you're a wonderful advocate. Much. Keep it up and... I enjoyed the memories and a little bit trip down memory lane there uh, during the days. Uh, and the, less, the less said, the better, Martina. The <laughs> less said, the better. We'll, we'll meet and we'll chat about that trip to Belfast. <laughs> Listen to me. Thanks a we'll million. And um, well like done for all your achievements and keep up the good work and keep the flag flying for athletics. Well done, Siobhan. And we'll be Thanks keeping an eye out. We'll be keeping an eye out, Siobhan, because Siobhan is the judge for the European. That's uh, right, Jess. So we'll be keeping an eye out for that. So if you ever get the microphone, you can say a shout out to the Maroon and Mike there. In, <laughs> the Maroon and Mike. Definitely will. Definitely Thanks. will. Thanks, Thanks a million, Siobhan. Siobhan. Take You're care. You're very welcome. Thanks, ladies. Bye. 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 See you Bye. later. Bye. 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 Thanks a million. Bye. 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 I am sure Wonderful. now all of the students in Valley Class will be all excited because oh, right, I was telling them uh, Miss Kelleher is going to be coming on. But you know what, Aoife, I really enjoyed that chat with Siobhan because she's a different insight. She brought it back to basics that if we don't have the fundamentals, you've, if the girls, you've girls, and we know down through the years, even ourselves, mm -hmm. we had natural ability because of things that we were doing from home. We were working at home. But I'll always say it, and one of the best coaches I ever had was Damien Coleman. Oh, absolutely. He was absolutely. ahead of his game. With he strength was. And and how many, how many years ago? It was ladders. It was, yeah, it was around 2003, 2004. Even, even before that. Even in the before era, that, yeah. And, and he, he was, was wonderful. He was so far ahead of his game, and I suppose well, it was... because he he'd kind of, he'd invested time into the whole s But he was into athletics. Well, it was well. non-existent. Yeah. But he was into athletics. That's probably the first time I heard kind of SNC and with with Jamie Coleman and all that time and all all the training that he did with us it 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 and didn't think go about it, either, it didn't go notice and until players and athletes realize that when you, into it. when you do a drill in a ladder it's not just for the sake of doing the ladders it's exact it's exactly that's exactly yeah. it it's all to bring you on and make you a better player well, that okay. is for sure. So, so before um, we thanks a minute to finish up, um, I suppose, um, I suppose we have to acknowledge Women in Sport Week. Absolutely. And yeah. the great week that was with um, the athletics. And, and it was um, great to have Siobhan uh, talking about that I there. have you, Aoife, before we go, Aoife was involved in Abbottstown in, in Dublin last week. And a very interesting programme that she actually delivered was the Manaw programme. But maybe give us a, a minute or two uh, yeah, summary um, of it. So, um, Not five minutes, are we? No, no. One minute, so you're on the clock. One minute. Talk to me. Let's quick. go. Um, so the M N A Manaw. Okay, what so does it mean? Obviously, it means um, woman in Irish, but Manaw well means... No, you see, I yeah. was listening in Irish class. Oh, um, so motivate, motivate, nurture and aspire. Okay. So but the whole idea, it's like the Hurl With Me program. So it's getting like um, ladies that haven't really played hurling in a long, long time or haven't played ever at all to get them out. Um, so basically I was delivering with Jerk Ribbons up in Abbottstown to these women that are going to go out to the clubs and be 
the mentors. Yes. So um, shout out to actually Claire Burke from Anna Down. She was up there and made great pals with her on the day and all to the other ladies that were from around uh, Kilkenny and Wexford and Dublin and all around. But basically it's a program and initiative for social camogie so that in a couple of uh, months time when like obviously they're going to get together in the next couple of weeks in their clubs mm -hmm. and these women will come together as a social kind of it's gathering like yeah. come over, learning again the fundamentals of of, sp of the sport and then in june july they'll have a manor day for all of the the manor programs around Brilliant. ireland come together and really hoping that um uh, Liam Clancy can work his magic and Shauna Fox up in Crow Park, Park and try and get the ladies yeah. to get the Manal program up to Crow Park. To Wouldn't it be something else yeah, if, um, if you could look out and you see there's my mommy playing in Crow Park yeah. and I want to aspire to that. Absolutely. So yeah. it's for women that haven't really played Kamobi or haven't played it in years and years coming together as a social group and just having a bit of crack, bit of crack. and to get away from the kitchen sink to get it's away from pressure, the homework to get just an exercise that's exactly but that's it, it. Oh, so yeah, keep an eye out that. all the clubs that um yeah i loved i loved yeah. um facilitating it there with your equipment and it was really really good it was uh, given the introduction to coaching and gaelic games so um yeah really really enjoyed it it's fantastic so, so that was kind of my mana well, that was brilliant for the week yeah. yeah so i suppose that that's kind of it to the end and yeah look at um i hope you enjoyed it um and and I'm glad that Siobhan joined us. I, I think that she spoke wonderfully she and did. so truthfully about how important um, being part of athletics or getting involved in the athletic development complements any sport. Any Obviously, sport, come okay because yeah. that's, that's our thing, but any sport. And even for the social aspect, get down to your running track, meet up with a few people and give it a go. And while the kids are at athletics, um, you could be you out could doing be out your five doing your own well. I, I, I do know that um, Beha Club they obviously they go to South Galway Athletics Club as well but they have worked in tandem with Siobhan and all of the coaches down in South Galway Athletics Club and it's really really shown in their in their hurling and camogie yeah. you we, know, see, so, we see it ourselves but they're we? really buying into it they don't clash the training they work in tandem together because you know the way sometimes they say ah there's um, athletics on that day oh yeah sure it doesn't matter they'll be hurling anyway yeah. but like if you can Try and get to your local athletics club, whether it's South Galway or Crowell or Galway City Harriers or wherever, um, and to thank all of the coaches and volunteers that work tirelessly in athletics um, and to say thanks that it is helping promote our game. Yeah. So that's so it, my friend. Looking, for, looking ahead to next week, Galway will be out next week. I wish said Rayfields and uh, oh, Bess in the junior. She's out in the junior B. I'm not <laughs> at it again. She no. told me that if I didn't mention them, she was going to mention no, them. No, obviously, um, you have to. Best wishes and best wishes to all schools that are finishing off in the in the junior um, championship. And um, it's goodbye for me, my friend. And goodbye for me. And don't forget, shout out to Galway or the Maroon and White podcast. Uh, get your friends to subscribe and we look forward to our chats again. We sure next will. Week. All right. God bless everyone. Thanks. Thanks again. everyone. Take Talk care. to you next week. Bye.